Hello, my name is Ben Sayer. In this video, I'm going to show you the new Locate Missing Media feature in Family Tree Maker 2011. First, let me show you what it looks like in this Media tab when you've got media that's gone missing. So you can see all of these images that I have here have this little icon with the book and the magnifying glass. And let me show you why that is. I've gone and moved my files from the Family Tree Maker location into the folder structure that I prefer and recommend. So if I show you in this My Family History, there's a folder within there for places and another one for surnames. And under surnames, there are a list of folders for each surname. And within a surname folder, there are folders for each individual. And so within any one of these folders, you'll see that there are image files. And that's where each of those has been moved to. So that broke the links and the locations that Family Tree Maker had for these files. And now we can use this nice new feature to have Family Tree Maker find those automatically for us. We'll start by clicking up here on Media on the menu bar. And then right down here is this selection Find Missing Media. We'll click that once. And in this dialog, this will list all of the files that have gone missing. And you could individually select files, one or more files that you want it to find. In this case, I'm just going to go down here and click on Select All, since I want it to locate each of those files. And there's also the Clear All option there as well. And then the Search button, which is where the magic happens. So we'll click that once, and Family Tree Maker has gone off and figured out that uh, each of these files moved into these individual places. So this census page image is now under the uh, Family History Places United States and so on folder. And this image of a person is under that person's folder in their surname folder and so on. Now the other thing that you're going to want to pay attention here especially if you've moved your media into a central location like I have, so that it's not just within the file system domain of the genealogy program, is to select whether you're going to have Family Tree Maker make a copy of that file or just link to the existing file. So you can see here, copy is selected by default for each of these. And I want to click on it and change it to link because I want Family Tree Maker to point to that one file. And then any other programs that I use, similarly, I want them to point to that one file so that I don't have multiple copies of these images in multiple places on my hard drive. So now that I have all those selected and the attach type is set to link, I can simply press OK to restore those media items. And you can see they all appear back in my media list. And when I go back to my people display, all of those nice little headshots appear back on the people in the pedigree chart. 